All right, this reading is for all star signs. So if you're here, I believe this reading is meant for you. There might be messages in here for you. So some of you guys are feeling a bit stuck right now. Like you can't move forward with things. You may be feeling trapped. You may need to have patience with yourself because things are going to start moving really fast for you when they do. So that's why you may be having this period right now where you might be feeling stuck because there's something you're having to let go of. Um, you're having to replan something that may have been planned in fear or planned in a way that isn't going to pan out well. So you're having to re-evaluate something. And this could even be connected to another person or some kind of a wish, a good goal, a desire, a manifestation. All right. There is a chance for victory, a success. There is a chance, an opportunity in the future for you to come out on top. Okay. But there is, um, your, your shadow is really playing a big role right, right now. Um, uh, something happened in the very recent past where your shadow was brought into light. And this may be part of the reason why um, things were planted, seeds were planted. They could have been planted in fear. So this is why you're having to re-examine. Like, did I did I uh, manifest this thing or plan to, you know, initiate this desire, this wish, this goal in a place of fear, in a place of hurt, in a place of pain? And so that as that is reviewed and reevaluated, that's when the fulfillment comes in. Okay? That's when the victory comes in. So you may be feeling a little bit of mental conflict right now. As the universe is trying to give you an opportunity to um, review those goals so that you can put yourself in alignment with your highest good, your highest potential. Okay, give me one more card. Yes. Recognition and reward. Nice. Okay, so not only is the universe recognizing the work that you're doing, those around you are going to recognize the work that you're doing. They're going to be like, whoa, where did that come from? This person is like making some serious changes and like all this, like it could have come out of nowhere. Uh, you know, it could have come because of some discontentment or boredom um, or maybe some inconvenient truth was revealed. This was maybe something about you that was like really uncomfortable, something, some kind of secret or some side of you that you didn't want people to see was revealed. And as that part of you was revealed, you had to like face that shadow and it was brought into light and it may have been really inconvenient and, and uncomfortable and put you in a big mental conflict. But that mental conflict ultimately gave you an opportunity to see all your sides. <clears throat> you see, we have the moon faces up here, not just your light, but your dark and all, everything in between. And so you can also see the seeds you've planted and what they're going to look like when they come into fruition. Is this a plant that we want to continue to grow? Or is this a seed that we're going to go ahead and nip in the bud and we're going to replant something more, more that's going to, you know, maybe give us some, some kind of fruit or um, maybe it has a better smell or a prettier look to it. That's where the fulfillment comes in. It's like, it's like recognizing. And here we are with the twos again. So we've got two pillars here and then we have two waterfalls here. We've got, you know, pillars back here. There's four pillars back here. Interesting. So it's like four here. If you want to do that, I, I don't know. I just, I, I noticed patterns like that. And I, even with the chains here, with the four chains, it's almost like the same pattern coming around. <laughs> and in the bars as well, we have four lines. That's interesting. Okay. It's always interesting when patterns start showing up in my cards. Authority figures. Okay, so some of you guys are having to really fight your ego right now. And that's part of what's keeping you trapped in fear. So there could have been an old identity that you had placed of yourself or the um, an identity or an authority figure that has placed an identity over you. And, and so maintaining that personality or that identity is really keeping you conflicted or afflicted and unable to move forward. So as that shadow is revealed, because I feel like this whole situation, this shadow situation is somewhat tied to that identity. So hopefully this is making sense to you guys. Um, it's through the healing of that and the tearing away and the removal of that part of you that is no longer serving your highest good. The recognition and the reward is, is 
ultimately you yours to take. You earned it. You worked for it. <laughs> Okay, what do you need to let go of right now? Okay, give me one more card. <sighs> Something y'all are holding on to. Oh, spiritual union. It's affecting your solar plexus. Your sacral chakra, it's also affecting your foundation and your, your balance, your achievements. So some of you guys are letting, needing to let go of this need to have some kind of a spiritual union with another physical person. That's probably why this kept coming up. This, there's like a need to have that with yourself. Because in all of these cards with the pillars, there's one person in them, but it signifies this connection to to and and where I was almost feeling like to another person so this could be your inner self your higher self or you know your soulmate that you're aligning with but there hasn't yet that could be something that was coming up you know that was keeping this mental conflict that was really weird my light totally got really bright for a second there okay so fertility with new beginnings you're really needing to focus right now on new beginnings because that's where the, there's just a lot of fertile energy for you right now as you move out of being stuck, being trapped. Because as you recognize the shadow parts of yourself and how you can use those to your advantage and heal instead of hide those parts of yourself, that that recognition, that reward is part of that fertile energy that's moving you forward. So as you focus on that, focus on what's working for you right now, not like what didn't work for you in the past. Okay. Um, and this could be very heavily tied to relationships with the, with the spiritual union, because this is affecting your confidence as well as your creation force energy with solar plexus and sacral chakra. So if you're really needing to focus on new beginnings and fertility, you're needing to let go of the past, past relationships that didn't work out. Spiritual strength. You really need to need to know that you have a lot of spiritual strength for you moving forward and that there is a lot going on for you behind the scenes. You're stepping into your own mastery. You're remembering your own mastery because you forgot. You've already mastered all of these things in other lifetimes. You just forgot. So as you are on your own path of remembrance, you're also remembering your own spiritual strength. Okay? From foundation. I mean, that's just like the perfect confirmation there with the root chakra you have strong roots so it's time to let that strength and those strong roots allow you to grow and um, not be afraid to grow there's power here it was laying on the ground i feel like that was important for somebody it's eight which is manifestation uh you also have like wisdom you got the king of the jungle here with the lion. Okay. So we're going to look at people, objects, and places. And then we're going to go ahead and call the reading. So people that are helping you move forward. And maybe even helping you recognize your power because you've got eights here. And maybe that power is in your shadow here with the one and the eight, with the 18, Aquarius. So there's an Aquarius in your life right now that's helping you see your own power. 11, they're helping you initiate that power. Okay, and Aries as well. So for some of you, it's Aquarius. For some of you, it's Aries. For some of you, this is two different people that are helping you. Okay. Okay, so <laughs> some of you guys are being called to do some kind of light therapy, like to obtain specific objects that allow for um, some kind of light therapy to help you rest and rejuvenate your body. 
Um, for some of you, it's a type of light, a specific type of light that's helping bring some kind of a calmness or restfulness. Maybe there's a light you've been wanting to buy and you ha have been waiting for like a sign to kind of buy it or somebody to tell you it's okay to buy it. But I feel like this is going to help you in some way, whether it's going to induce some kind of calmness or peacefulness that's going to ultimately allow you to tap into a certain piece of information that you've been needing to gain. There's something important there. Okay, places. Suffering and silence. Hmm. So there's a certain place that some of you guys are thinking of where you... Because Throat Chakra had kind of flashed at me first. And I didn't pull it because it didn't really make sense to a place until this one came out. Suffering and silence. So there's a place connected to um, some somewhere that you just felt like you were suffering in silence. You weren't allowed to speak your truth. You weren't allowed to be yourself, your authentic self. Like it's almost like it was suppressed and repressed. It's, there's information there though in that place that's ultimately like a key to your material and spiritual prosperity. So it's like almost in that place of suffering, there was something there. There was a heartache or a loss there, but you learned something from that experience. It's ultimately what is going to be the key to your awareness of something that's going to show you the door, the door to that material, spiritual. There's some kind of door that's opening up for you. Uh, something you've been waiting for for a long time. It's, it's, it's a wish you've already made, that door, it's open. But it's like in order for you to be able to see it or be aware of it, you have to recognize that there was a lesson in this place of suffering. You learned something there, but you weren't even fully aware that you learned it until you went back there and recognized, oh crap, I actually did learn something, even though that was a really not nice thing that happened to me. This is what I learned. And that's the key. That's the key to the door. Okay, so this is your reading. I hope this resonated with you. Leave a comment below if you claim this and blessings.